The Ivory Coast produces nearly half the world's supply. Over 100 million tons of cocoa grown on thousands of small plantations. We'd heard rumors that young men were being trafficked from neighboring Mali to work on these plantations as slaves. Nobody had documented this before, yet the slaves were disturbingly easy to find. There's nothing to stop these young men leaving the plantation, except that they've been trafficked 300 miles from home. They're penniless, and they have no idea where they are. Paid nothing, unable to leave, and totally controlled by the farmer, these men are not simply exploited. They are modern-day slaves. They agreed to talk to us while their master was away at market. Sanjala, Sangalinike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And how much money have you been paid for your work? What for the? I'm ready to for the do. In this case, I'm not allowed to borrow the money. No, the alimony. Borrow the money. Nika, I forgo. I got the alimony. Nika, para kwa mna chuo kwa wodi di. Nidu matui. O borrow the kuzo nini sika? And do you find the work on the plantation easy or hard? I'll catch you again. What is it about the work on the plantation? I'll Once the cocoa pods have been harvested, the beans are scooped out and dried before being packed for sale. Although cocoa is grown in dozens of countries around the world, the Ivory Coast is by far the biggest producer. Last year, the UK directly imported over 50 million pounds worth of Ivoirian cocoa to satisfy our appetite for some of the biggest chocolate eaters in the world. The average person in Britain munches through the equivalent of over 200 bars of chocolate a year. Since many of the plantation workers are from Mali, we wanted to talk to Abdul Mako, one of the Malinese consuls in the Ivory Coast. He invited us to his home to meet 19 young men who had recently been freed from slavery on a cocoa plantation. Bon. Voici les enfants dont on vous a parlé. Ils sont au nombre de 19. On vient de les libérer avec l'appui des autorités ivoiriennes. Là, ces jeunes vivaient un véritable esclavage. Ils travaillaient à l'aube très tôt le matin et ils le finissaient après le crépuscule. Aujourd'hui, ils font bon mine parce que ils ont demandé à ce qu'ils soient coiffés, sinon. Il fallait beaucoup plus, plus pitié. Et pourquoi est-il malade En fait, il est malade parce que... Et lui, en fait, il vient d'arriver. Il n'a que six mois. Donc, il était à une période de dressage, en fait. Malheureusement pour lui, son corps ne peut pas supporter les coups. After one of the young men finally managed to escape, the consul led a raid on the plantation to liberate those still enslaved. Le tout s'était pratiquement isolé du monde entier. Et euh, il s'était méconnaissable quand on nous a, 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 a trouvés. Le tout s'est passé comme s'il sortait d'un autre monde. À partir de 20h, 20h30, la cabane est bouclée par un d'entre eux qui est considéré comme le chef. Et chacun rentre dans la cabane avec une petite, une vieille boîte de nido dans laquelle il doit y venir. 
Il n'est pas question de sortir euh, la nuit pour venir. Quand il fuit, il doit obligatoirement être euh, rattrapé par leurs camarades. Quand il est rattrapé, il est battu euh, matin et soir pendant les premiers jours. Et euh, quand il n'en peut plus, on le laisse. Car lorsque ses plaies, plaies sont cicatrisées, on le remet dans le lot pour recommencer le travail. Et on le surveille, on veille sur lui jusqu'à ce qu'il se ramollisse, qu'il accepte son sort et ses conditions. Le consul a arrangé pour les enfants de retourner à home to Mali, pour être réunis avec des familles qui peuvent avoir donné l'espoir de les voir de nouveau. Pour maintenant, ils sont restés à la consul Mako's home, beginning to recover from years of psychological as well as physical torture. In the time that you were working on the plantation, was anybody killed like this? Was anybody here paid any money for their work? And how many years were you working for? When you think back on what you've had to do for these last five years, what does it make you feel? The cocoa goes into making chocolate. Have you ever tasted chocolate? <laughs> In the rest of the world, millions and millions of people eat chocolate. What would you tell those people?